A Tampa girl spent much of this day getting stitched up after she was attacked by a dog on her way to school. Neighbors tell us they feared this would happen since the animal has been a problem over the last several weeks. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan joins us now live where neighbors have reported this same animal before, right Candace? Yeah, Keith, Stacy. good evening. Hillsborough County Animal Services says they have received a call about this dog before because it's been running around without a leash and often appeared aggressive. And as I entered the gate into the park, the, park, the black dog said, ah, and I said, ah, and he ran. Just yesterday, Jerome Reddick came face to face with a dog often seen running in and around this yard, but he was able to scare it off. But a 12 year old girl walking to school Tuesday was cornered. A little kid can't, don't know how to scare a dog away. I seen a little girl, she had on like a little pink jacket. Eric Duke saw the girl who was bit and then ran to the park to call her mom. Dukes tells me the dog also approached his son in an aggressive manner, prompting him to walk his son to school daily. He said a uh, dog was um, down there. They just been barking and trying to cut across the street, but he kicked at him and they ran on. Investigators tell us the dog pictured here belongs to Mike Coleman. But when we knocked at Coleman's door, he told us a different story. It be, it's a straight dog. It be, it be in the yard, be in the house. One neighbor reported the dog to Animal Services in October, but they say they were unable to find and capture the animal at the time. It depends on how he was trained. So it depends on if he was trained to hurt somebody, yeah, he gonna hurt somebody. If he bit her, he was hurting her. He was looking to hurt something. Neighbors with kids are thankful the girl wasn't seriously injured and the dog is now off the street. Do you have kids? There's other people with kids? Somebody need to go and catch them and put them away. Yeah. So he won't hurt nobody else. Yeah, and I did speak with Animal Control today. They tell me that the owner did surrender the dog to them earlier today. As for that girl, she is expected to be okay. Keith, Stacy. So what's next for the dog? I guess that's the question. Yeah, as is customary, that dog will be in quarantine for the next 10 days. What will happen after that remains to be seen. Keith, Stacy. Candace McGowan reporting live in Tampa for us tonight. Thank you, Candace. President Brock.